The statistics are very high on gender-based violence in South Africa. We are trying to minimize that problem by talking to men. This is like this is beautiful. Look, this this can build us. And I, I saw so many guys around. I thought, what a platform to actually say that. I see it as such a positive thing because it's it's actually even through a sport, a sport that everybody loves. Soccer is like one of the things that brings men together. So when you bring them together like this, and especially for a cause, it's excellent. Soccer is emotional sport. You must play as a team to win. As a man. Um, knowing that a campaign like this exists, you know, I feel, I feel proud because us as men, we're supposed to be the head of our families. We should take responsibility and we should be the ones showing our families what love is. It means hashtag no excuse to gender-based violence, abuse to women. No excuse is all about masculinity and about how to be a good man. A true man is a man who uses his strength to love, to serve, to build up. How many true men do we have here today? Hey, we, we're going to use our strength well. Today we're going to play soccer. We're going to go into the week next week and care for our country, our community, because that's what men do. I pledge, I pledge to always take action, always take action against, women against women abuse. Amanda! I think it's a really good campaign, the pledge that we took, you know. It's not every day that we, we take responsibility and we affirm our, our manhood and as a collective, you know what I mean? Doing it together, it just shows that we can unify and solidify as men coming together, trying to eliminate and alleviate this. Soccer is the most powerful weapon to, 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 to educate people. And now I'm very excited that this tournament is giving some of the guys from my team to educate them that by protecting you one each other, to make sure that even you walking on the street, you see someone is hitting his girlfriend or her wife. You're supposed to try and, and stop him. You see those things. It helps a lot because now you're understanding. As you go and see the broken men around the country, you see the need for this kind of thing. The problem is men don't know what a real man is. We work together with those men and show them the real masculinity. Your, your brother is your family. Whatever family is that is your family. We must look at each other to work together to bring this South Africa in the right manner. It empowers women to know that they, um, they don't have to be quiet about it. They, and that they have people that stand behind them, yeah. including men. At the end of every event that we go to, I love how, I love the impact it has on them and the promise they give that when they get back to their communities, they will be the advocate of the hashtag no excuse. It's such a, a beautiful platform going forward and I'd also love to spread the word somehow through this. If you can uh, help each other in South Africa, we could be a better country. I think what, what uh, this, this people is doing is really a good thing for South Africa. Bring the youth along us so that they, can, they cannot do drugs or abuse any, any women around us in the community, make the change with the sport in the community. If you stand together, unite as one, then you can overpower the crime. Like women, women in our, in our country, if they stand together, they can do lots of things, but now the guys is afraid of the other guys. But if they also stand together, then we can overpower the crime. You are able to spread the message we want, that men are not trash and we are good. And men need to, we need to tell each other as men that I'm a brother, you are a good person. Champions, no excuse for gender-based violence.